I made it to the trailhead of Hatch Hatchy. I realized I forgot my hiking poles, which really is fine other than the fact that I will, they say there's four feet of snow. <laughs> so that would be helpful. So now I'm just going to find wherever the trailhead is and I'm gonna get going. It's like 1.30 and I think I have around only like six or seven miles. The most amazing thing just happened. These two amazing people come out, come out of this tunnel and they say, hey, you, do you want my walking stick? And I said, oh my gosh, I forgot mine. And I'm going to hike what the ranger said. There's like four feet of snow, which you really kind of need some sort of walking stick to see the depth. And they said, here, we're going back to New Jersey. You can have it. And, and then they said, do you want our other one in the car? And I said, no, I always just hike with one. So, I mean, like, that kind of stuff is just amazing. So they made my thank you, people from New Jersey. Um, I'm headed into this amazing tunnel. Really cool. They've built a structure, I guess, assisting the bridge. Let's go check it out. Looks like we might get a little bit wet. Sounds nice. Whew. Made it to camp. Such a chill seven mile day. I'm not used to doing that, but it's really nice. I'm gonna go check out the water. I will take you along and, and show you. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna set up my tent. Funny thing, after I set up my tent, I realized I brought my big tent. Um, I was like, wow, why is there so much space? And then I realized, oh, I brought my like two, three person tent. So I carried that extra weight just for fun. I don't know why I have a one person tent, but I just grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, I know I look really cool. This is my ninja backpacking um, outfit but it also really good works good against the mosquitoes which are coming out which actually are just annoying because they're so small dinner is this delicious mike's mighty good pork tongue katsu ramen soup in the back country oh my gosh so check it out it's gonna be good morning i had a uneventful night no bears and uh, I went to bed really early. I was really tired. So I was like probably sleeping by eight. And um, I'm making my little instant coffee. And then I'm making my oatmeal right now. And it's only 6.30. I got up really early. Could barely open my bear can. God, those things are so tough. But I finally figured it out. I just had to muscle it. Oh, there is Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. So I climbed out of that valley pretty early people have said online that this part of the hike is can be exposed and pretty warm but I just timed it I mean I accidentally timed it really early on the south facing slope so the sun is just hitting me and I just climbed quite a bit mostly out of it so kind of lucked out there the hike up to Tilt Hill is really beautiful we're following this like little canyon which has these little babbling brooks pretty much running down the whole thing. Somehow I managed to make it this far without getting wet, but I don't know if you can see. It's uh, a beautiful wet. I'm at a junction. This is where I originally wanted to go that direction, but that one's a lot longer and the trail is at 8,500 feet, so probably too much snow for my ability. That's where I'm going, Lake Vernon, which depending how it goes, I might continue to Laurel Lake because it's really early. I have a hard time relaxing. And that's where I came from. Hatch Hatchy is only 9.2 miles back. So I feel like 
you can easily come and make it up to here your first day. And there is supposedly a camp site up and around here somewhere. Well, I really tried not to, oh God, get wet, but, oh, holy shit, sorry. Um, I got wet. <laughs> it's pretty deep and I got wet too late to switch into my Crocs. So now I'm just hiking with shoes. Now, this is the plus of trail runners. Your feet will dry really quick. Mine probably won't dry all day, which is whatever, it's life. Oh, but I made it through the wet part and now I think I'm gonna stop and take my shoes off and drain the water out of them. Right about 7,000 feet and my second little teeny patch of snow. I am facing south, so I'm guessing once we get over this hill, there'll be more. Finally made it to some snow. Luckily, someone else has been on this trail before me. And so I'm kind of following her footsteps, wondering when I should put my... Uh, my micro spikes on. I don't have snowshoes. Which would probably be nice right now, but... So far, this guy's footsteps are helping me nicely. See? Just kind of step in his steps, and I'm, and I'm good. So far, I haven't sunk in past like my calf area anyway so that's the trail looks like it's snow for a while hiking in the snow so pretty check it out it's so cool you can see all the tracks so backpacking in the snow is definitely way harder than not backpacking in the snow. And I have my micro spikes, but I feel like in this snow is really uh, fresh. So I'm thinking a, at least a foot from most steps. Whoa. <laughs> and I just fell in deeper. Okay, now I gotta get up. <sighs> Holy crap. Anyway, so it probably would have been better in this kind of snow to have snowshoes. Um, I don't know, it's not very, it's not icy. So I don't know, I don't know if the spikes are even doing anything. Anyway, I'm making very slow time, but I think my elevation is going down and then hopefully get to be a little less snow. It's pretty snowy. Finally made it over that mountain of snow. You can't really see, but it was snow, snow, snow up to my knees. And my feet are soaking wet and cold. But then I came over. This is pretty amazing. All this granite up here, and it looks like it's going to be chill as far as snow goes, which I'll take it at this point. Down yonder is Lake Vernon. Now I'm heading, we're probably gonna keep on going to Laurel Lake because it's pretty early. And I think it's only six miles from here, about seven. All right, right up that way is Lake Vernon, which we are not going to. Stunning. This I believe it's called Frog Creek or Frog River and somehow I need to pass it. My feet are already wet, so I'm keeping my boots on. It looks really deep, it looks like, so I don't know, I've been like going up and down this river trying to figure out how to get over there because the trail is over there. I made it. That was definitely the deepest river crossing. I mean, you, uh, I don't know if I can, if you can see like to hear kind of like my crotch um i went right here it's pretty shallow it's just the middle is super slippery i just took it really slow and i did it and 
I'm soaking wet, but that's okay. I have less than a mile left. And luckily I don't, according to the map, I don't have to come back this way. There's another way for me to get out, which I'm definitely gonna do because I don't want to do that river crossing again. I made it to where I'm gonna camp tonight. Yay, no more wetness, no more snow. Um, check this out. I'm not a track expert, but these, they're definitely not humans and they look to be bear, I'm guessing, because they're fairly large. And then I think these, I don't know, they might be baby bears. I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. They're not super fresh, but it's possible. This is Laurel Lake. It's quite larger than I thought. It's absolutely beautiful. There's a little... Had to move my tent because in this amazing sunny beautiful little flat area the gusts of wind are pretty big and <laughs> my tent was like blowing away and I couldn't keep it uh, staked down so I just picked the whole thing up and I moved it over there until there's like a nice little flat camp area that has um, like campfire and I'll show you but I don't want to leave the sun it's so nice in the sun right now because it's kind of chilly and I'm wet my feet are are de -thawing. see they're all wrinkly here's where I moved it's still a really cute little camp spot it's just in the shade so and it's cold there's the lake kind of through the trees so just moved over here less windy my tent won't blow away I'm starting to make dinner. Morning. I slept in 6.15 and now I'm about to go, but I have to put these, my shoes, my wet. Oh wow, look, they're, they're like frozen. That is hilarious. I have to put these frozen socks on my feet. My GoPro died, so I'm now using my phone, but um, so far today I'm actually on a trail and I'm going to show you after. Uh, I don't know how to flip it, whatever. Ready? Real. Here we go. After being not on a trail, like going through the snow and using my GPS and like trying to find the trail over and over and over. And this is just so nice. I don't have to think. Not like it's, you know, I can't find the trail when there's no trail. I just kind of use my all trails app which is amazing but I have to really be focused and paying attention I can't just walk so now I'm just walking on this trail oh but here looks like we have some snow coming up on the trail I spoke too soon so the one plus of hiking right now early in the morning well one the ground is completely icy two see the snow like normally like yesterday I was, every step I was punching through, you know, depending how deep it is, sometimes like up to my knees. But look, I'm walking. Here, I'll try to show you. Do, do, do. I'm just walking on it. Uh-oh, here's some sun. Hopefully I don't punch through. But it's pretty awesome. This is like so much easier than each step. Falling in up to my, you know, ankles or knees. I'm loving this. I have to say, stream crossings are my least favorite thing. They make me really nervous, but the fact of the matter is, is the trail's over there and I need to get across. So apparently this is the best spot. Okay, here we go. So I crossed. Yay! And it was uh, really wet up to my waist. I had to walk down river quite a ways because like, it's kind of gnarly. It's really deep, but I, cr but I crossed right there. I, tr I honestly don't know enough about rivers, but I tried to find the least white water because I couldn't figure, I was like, I need to go research it. Is less white water worse because it's deeper? Because white water is generally where there's rocks. So honestly, 
I don't know, but I went there and I made it and I'm stoked because now I have no more river crossings. Woohoo! I just have to say one more thing is that my feet are so cold they feel like, I don't even know, like blobs of like chunks. Like I can't feel like I'm like walking on stubs. I feel like stubs. But the best thing about that is if I keep walking eventually they'll, they'll thaw. <sighs> I would call this trip a success. I'm headed back. Almost there, but I just had to show you this one more time. It's amazing. Final leg of the journey. Headed through the super cool tunnel. It's really nice in here. It's really cool and wet. Yeah. And echoey. Echo.